storing and managing data in any application is crucial. Luckily, C Sharp gives you data structures out of the box for you to use. Choosing the right collection to use will make your application efficient, but more importantly, it's gonna make your life as a developer easier. Today I'm gonna to be comparing arrays, lists, and the other important collection types that you need to know so that you can make the best decision on when to use which collection type in which situation. So our first one is the array. It's super fast by accessing elements by an index, but there's a downside to the array. The length of the array is fixed at the time you create that array, meaning you can't just add and remove elements at runtime at will. Arrays rarely shine when performance is your primary goal or you're working with multi-dimensional data, for example, grids or 3D models. Collection type two is the list. You can think of the list as an expandable array. Lists are dynamic in the sense that they can grow and shrink as they're needed. They have convenient methods like adding, removing elements, and searching for elements. Lists should be your go-to structure when the size of your data is changing frequently. Collection type three is the dictionary. Dictionaries store key value pairs. A key is just a unique identifier that you can use to retrieve the associated value from the dictionary. Keys can be any type of data, even including strings. A user profile would be a good example of this, where the user ID is the key and the value would be the user data. Product catalog might be another example where the product ID is the key and the details about the product will be the value. Next up, we got the hash set. The hash set is very much like a list where you can add and remove elements as you need, but the big difference with a hash set is it only stores unique values. That is, if you try and add a element to the hash set that already exists, the hash set's just gonna ignore it. You don't need to add all that additional code to check if the hash set already contains it. Elements that are added are automatically hashed. That ensures your lookups are as quick and as efficient as possible. Our fifth collection type is the stack. Stacks are really useful when the order of your elements makes a difference. Books, because books. You can picture a stack just like a stack of books where you can only access the very top element of the stack. You can either remove an item using the pop method or you can add an element to the top by using the push method. Can't access anything below the top element. Stack follows the last in first out principle. Stacks are really good for undo or redo functionality or call history. Our next data structure is the queue. Queue follows the first in first out principle. You can think of a queue just like waiting in line. You can only add elements to the back of the queue and elements can only be removed from the front of the queue. Queues are really useful when maintaining a task list that needs to be performed in a particular order or a messaging queue. So those are the six most useful c -sharp collections. Lists are your go-to in most scenarios. Use a dictionary if you want to look up a element by its ID. Use stacks and queues if the order of the elements is important to you. And use hash sets if, you're, if you don't want the hassle of dealing with duplicate items. It's important to know that there are thread safe versions of a lot of these found in the system.collections.concurrent namespace. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.